Live from ACADN, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. I'm News 10's Britt LaFasso. The family of a Lafayette woman is asking for the public's help to find her. 33-year-old Ella Goody's family says she was last seen on Wednesday picking up a person to drive to Texas. Good morning, Katie, and I'm Houston's Niels Rang. A man is getting 30 years in prison for three killings. It was a plea deal for revealing where the remains were of his most recent killing. Good morning, Katie Anna. I'm News 10's Elise Corville. It's hard for families to make ends meet these days with rising costs and empty shelves at grocery stores. One can of baby formula, that is all the Dixon family has to split between their three month and one month old grandchildren. Grandfather Joseph Dixon says that will only last about 24 hours. He says the empty shelves come after the major formula recall. I'm Renee Allen. An amended food drug vendor ordinance for Lafayette Parish has been put on hold for an unspecified period of time. If approved, the ordinance would charge 200 more annually for a permit to operate lawfully within Lafayette Parish. Morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10 Rodrika Taylor. Abbeville voters will head to the polls in one week to elect a new mayor. Early voting is now until March 19th. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Danielle Johnson. Meet KLFY's remarkable woman finalist, Sharon Jones. She is the administrative director of Acadiana Legal Services and she meets the needs of the community daily. She's also a member of several organizations and community outreach programs. Chef Trey Gardner doing his thing for us this morning on Five Spot 2. Time now for that lemonade, baby. Lord, have mercy. You can keep up with Trey on Instagram and Facebook. Acadiana will have much more all day long right here on KLFI News 10. Let's go. And seven day forecast shows a nice afternoon. Nice for tomorrow as well. Clouds increasing Thursday. A storm chance early Friday. Weekend looks good with mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the 70s. All right, I know the lemonade was a little purple green, but it looked <laughs> perfect for St. Patrick's Day coming up. I know. Shoot, that is on Thursday. We better wear our green. I know. I need to go set out my <laughs> outfit ready now just so I don't forget. Thank you guys for joining us on Pospa 2. We'll see you back here at noon. Have a great morning.